Coming up on Around Kern County, the fire department was hard at work over the holiday weekend. We're giving you a wrap up of what they did to keep our community safe. And public health is helping our community feel its best. We're showcasing how they're promoting local fitness when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Triolo. We're kicking off this week's show with a look back on last week's holiday. While our residents were busy celebrating the 4th of July, our Kern County Fire Department was working overtime to keep our community safe. This past holiday weekend, emergency dispatchers handled nearly 3,000 calls, which was even more than this time last year. Firefighters also responded to 313 separate emergencies, in addition to supporting dozens of incidents with other partner agencies. KCFD also combated 142 fires during the weekend amid extreme heat. Finally, our fire department worked diligently to stop the use of illegal fireworks, spending months leading up to the 4th of July dedicated to awareness campaigns. Over the weekend, fire investigators opened numerous investigations and made hundreds of contacts for citations. We are so proud of KCFD's hard work and commitment to keeping our community safe. And Kern County Public Health is inspiring our community to feel its best by showcasing what it means to eat healthy. This is in an effort to combat local obesity and other chronic diseases like diabetes. This week, they held a demonstration focused on picking the right foods for your plate. Kern County Public Health Certified Healthy Program uses various criteria such as calories, saturated fat, sodium, to identify menus that offer healthier options. Restaurants in Kern County that achieve certified healthy status are recognized with a certified healthy logo on their grade card that is displayed in their window and are highlighted in our Safe Diner app. Gabrielle, I'm excited to create a nutrient-dense salad today and give our viewers an idea of what some of these ingredients do for our bodies, why they can help lower chronic disease, why they can help with our blood sugar regulation that plays a role in diabetes prevalence. Uh, so let's get started here. Green mix with the spinach and the romaine, both really nutrient-dense ingredients. I really like the chicken breast here. Okay. Very low in saturated fat. It's a lean protein. The hard-boiled egg is definitely a healthy option with uh, healthy cholesterol and uh, healthy fats. But garbanzo beans and black beans are excellent sources of fiber and protein. So the bell peppers, the broccoli, the cucumbers, they're in the hot center not only are these foods hydrating, but they're packed with antioxidants that help regulate our blood sugars. So I, I really want to pack this salad with protein, antioxidants, and spinach specifically, because those are some of our healthiest uh, ingredients to a healthy diet. This event is part of Public Health's year-long campaign, A Healthier Kern, One Heart at a Time. You can visit their website at kernpublichealth.com for more information, tips, and tricks. And with the weather heating up, there's no better time than now to lighten up your home and make room to feel fresh. Right now, Kern County Public Works is holding a series of household hazardous waste collection events throughout the month of July. On Saturday, July 20th, you can get rid of your waste at the Lebec Transfer Station from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also drop off items on Wednesday, July 24th at the Glenville Transfer Station during those same times. You're encouraged to get rid of anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around your home, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. For more information about these collection events, please visit kernpublicworks.com. And Public Works is also holding bulky waste collection events throughout this month. You can get rid of unwanted household bulky items such as appliances, mattresses, and barbecue grills on Saturday, July 20th in Tehachapi and Saturday, July 27th in Wofford Heights from 8 in the morning until noon. Those locations are right there on your screen. 
You can always find more information about upcoming Public Works events on their website, kernpublicworks.com. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. And don't forget to follow us on social media or stay connected by downloading the MyKern app. We'll see you right back here next week.